The boat of the Filipino fisherman that was allegedly uh, collisioned by a foreign ship in Pangasinan was now already in the custody of the Philippine Coast Guard. The PCG is confident that they have strong evidence to hold those responsible for the collision that caused the death of the three Filipino fishermen. Bea Bernardo tells us more. The Philippine Coast Guard has recovered the FB Darien, the boat used by Filipino fishermen, which was rammed by a foreign vessel off the coast of Pangasinan recently. According to PCG, the boat retrieval operations started last week. First, they did an aerial inspection to pinpoint the exact location of the boat and deployed BRP Malapascua to secure it. And the final step was the salvage operation with the help of MTAG Avior. According to Vice Admiral Joseph Coime, PCG commander, for Maritime Safety Services Command, the boat retrieval is crucial to the ongoing investigation into what they considered a very serious maritime incident in which three Filipino fishermen died. Makikita po natin initially sa physical inspection, wala na siyang katik kasi if you compare the original design, may mga katik siya, outrigger. Based on the progress of the investigation, the empty Pacific Ana carrying the flag of Marshall Islands was the one that rammed the Philippine fishing boat. The PCG has strong evidence to prove this, including a maritime traffic monitoring system where the Pacific Ana is seen passing the FB Virian location. And the Coast Guard also has an eyewitness who saw the Marshall Island ship crashing into our ship. The Marshall Island government has coordinated with the Philippines. They are conducting their own investigation on the incident and has expressed their intention to do an ocular inspection on FB Therian. They are very cooperative sa ongoing investigation. And in fact, uh, with their appearance sa uh, Senate hearing, makikita po natin na talagang nakikipagtulungan po sa, sa bansa ng Pilipinas. It is expected that PCG's report on this accident will be finished next week, after which it will be forwarded to the Department of Foreign Affairs for diplomatic action. Right now, the boat is in Subic, Sambales. The owner of the boat couldn't help herself from crying when she saw it again because her husband died in it. Hindi rin po mawala yung sakit na ano na wala na siya, wala na yung magkano sa amin. Lalo na malit pa yung anak ko, 5 years old pa lang. Bayo Bernardo for the nation.